Yo, what's up YouTube? Tix here, bringing you guys another Skip and Talk of God video. It's been a while since we've done a God video, and today I'm going to bring you a new one. Uh, I think this God video is going to be very, very helpful to a lot of you guys, especially new players and veteran players. Uh, there's a feature in the game right now that not many people know about, and it's actually getting them killed a lot. So, if you can figure that out by watching this video, this is going to help you a lot going into the next wipe, as not many people have spoke about this, and I think this is worthy of a video. Uh, and I can teach you a, sm a, a small, a, a few small things about this. So, um, pretty much what it is about is the FOV skill in the game. So if you come over to the uh, game menu right here, uh, you'll have this thing called FOV. Now this is a slider that changes your uh, peripheral vision. Uh, this can also make your movement look faster and slower, um, and stuff like that. Now, uh, for reference, I'm actually running 63 FOV as I think this is the best FOV, FOV in the game. Now I'm going to get into this and show you why and explain why in just a second. But you have different choices, right? So it goes from 50, which is the lowest, all the way up to 75. Now, I'm going to show you something, okay, with scopes. So I used to play on max FOV because max FOV has its own benefits. For example, uh, you have a very stretched out screen, so that means your peripheral vision is massive. Uh, the drawback is player models are going to be smaller, which makes them harder to see. But you do gain a massive peripheral advantage, which is really, really nice in a lot of situations. But also comes the drawback of smaller uh, hitboxes and stuff like that. Um, but... Uh, you also move faster too, visually, which is really, really nice if you like the uh, fast gameplay. Um, and the game just looks better too. Now, low FOV is basically like a fish uh, bowl. It's like, you know, that's it, you know, like as soon as you're in the low FOV ranges, you've got no peripheral vision. It's just tunnel vision directly ahead of you. Now, there is some advantages to low FOV, which I'll show you in just a second. Will there be some examples on the screen? I'm sure. Um, so pretty much when you've got low FOV, you have the best... Uh, um, hitbox size so basically what that means is when you're ads and looking at people players character models are bigger this all come also comes to the drawback of players character models will be faster across your screen because you have a smaller uh, fov now this is going to be really nice for hitting those headshots and stuff like that i know there's a lot of streamers like insect for example that use very low fov for this in tournaments uh, is a very very handy tool and i highly recommend you try it out if you want to have a different uh, play style or just try something different because it may suit you personally it doesn't suit me i like to go for a bit of a balanced fov um but yeah so as we said uh, high FOV has the disadvantage of like peripheral vision, uh, like well, it has the advantage of peripheral vision, but you can't see people very well. And low FOV has the advantage of being able to see bigger hitboxes, which makes lining up those headshots a lot easier. But it also gives you the disadvantage of like slower movement, no peripheral vision at all, um, and the guns feel very weird as well. But there's actually a bigger advantage to low FOV than high FOV, and I'm going to break that down for you now. So. Quickly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the hideout for you now. Um, I, am I am bringing an M4. Uh, as you guys know, M4s the swipe aren't really the best. They've been nerfed pretty harsh. I'm just going to show you the stats for reference. So we got a 47 Ergo and a 45 Recall M4. We are currently on max FOV. Um, so what I'm going to do is, guys, I'm going to show you something, okay? So I'm going to crouch. I want you guys to pay attention to what happens to my scope, okay? Now, there's a thing called Eye Relief, and this is on a lot of scopes in the game right now. Um, and a lot of people don't realize this is actually getting them killed in PvP and just overall Tarkov gameplay. Um, and it also is really bad with flinch too. So, as you can see guys, when I lean, do you see this black rim that's like around the scope? As you guys can see, this black rim around the scope, it's it's pretty obscure, right? It's uh, very, very bad in a lot of situations when you're PvP and if you come around corners, you're starting to lose like that vision. Well, it also has a big difference when shooting too. So for example, right here, I'm gonna full auto spray. We're trying my best to control it, but just pay attention to the scope and what happens. So as you guys notice there for the first like few shots, the uh, actual scope itself disappeared and went all the way up to the top. And the eye relief actually came down on the reticle, which is very, very uh, bad and it obscures your vision, which can be very, very bad in PVP situations. So I'm gonna show that again, just for reference. And as I keep shooting, you can see that the scope is constantly bouncing on this black eye relief thing, which is really, really annoying. Now, in my opinion, this has been a really big issue for me, this wipe. And I actually swapped, swapped off 75 FOV because I use a lot of scopes in this game because scopes are king. Um, and the fact that this happens to the scopes, in my opinion, is something that is detrimental to your gameplay. And I highly recommend that you don't use max FOV. I know it's going to suck getting used to lower FOV. But I'm going to show you what it looks like on uh, the lowest FOV, for example. And then I'm going to show you what I like to use and what I think is the best FOV that you guys should use. So I'm going to sort down to low FOV real quick here now. And you're going to know it straight away. So like I said, player models, let's just say that's a player model. They look a lot bigger, right? So as you can see now, the scope looks a lot cleaner. 
uh, as you can tell. There is a little bit of eye relief, right? It's not as bad as the um, other one, but it is definitely there. Now, just notice what happens when I shoot. This is the biggest thing, okay? There is absolutely no eye relief coming down on top of the scope, which in my opinion is like detrimental in PvP. Like I've said, this could get you killed, make you miss shots, etc., etc. But as you can see, um, there's not at all. Now, there's also another thing, guys. So the recoil in this game right now is really weird. Uh, in previous wipes, the recoil on low FOV was higher. Um, and the, the higher FOV was, the lower the recoil was. Now, this wipe, it seems that it's the opposite. It seems the lower your FOV is, the better the recoil is, for example. Um, the only difference being... The only difference being is the visual recall. Now, there's another thing called visual recall. Uh, this is definitely for another video. Um, so what I, what I mean by visual recall is not the actual gun itself with the pattern and the, the gun of the it, it kicking. Uh, if you pay attention to my um, camera, the camera around my gun will shake more violently than it would the normal, right? So that is what you call visual recall. Now, there is a thing in the game too. As I said, this is going to go into a whole new video. But there's a thing called Weapon Master in this game. And once you master a weapon, it actually reduces the visual recoil of a gun. As far as I know, it's still in the game. Um, I don't know how much it reduces it by, but we're going to do some testing for the next video. But it is a thing, and it definitely helps. Um, so compare this right here on the video to an M4 just like this in your stash, and let me know in the comment section below. But the visual recoil is also a pretty big uh, factor in Taco's gunplay right now, which I think is a bit, a, a bit annoying, and I hope it gets tuned down. But I'm just going to show you for reference one more time. As you can see, scope's very clear. As you can see, there's absolutely no eye relief coming in the way of our aim and our uh, bullets, which is really, really nice in the recoil. Now, I'm going to show you what it looks like in 63 FOV if you're not really a big fan of using the lowest FOV. Because in my opinion, I don't think the lowest is ideal, but you can get used to it if you want to. It's just going to give you a disadvantage in other, other areas. So my opinion, I think 63 FOV is the perfect FOV in between. You do still get the eye relief, but it's not as severe. And you also do benefit from the increased peripheral vision and not feeling motion sick because of the low FOV. So I'm going to show you what it looks like in 63. As you can see, the uh, there is a slight bit of eye relief coming down initially, but after that, it pretty much centers dead on, similar to the lower FOV. It's not going to be as good, obviously, but uh, as you can see, it's a pretty big difference uh, with the scopes. So that is pretty much it, guys. This is something that I think is really, really detrimental. Uh, I'm going to show you some other scopes as well, just for reference, so you guys can see what it's like on other scopes, because some scopes are even worse than this. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's a big thing. Not many people really pay attention to this. And um, I'm hoping this video can shed some light to you guys on how uh, this could be very impactful towards your gameplay. And this is on every single gun in the game, guys. Every single gun. Uh, FOV is basically uh, very important now. So using the Boris scope, the scope's notorious for bad uh, eye relief. I'm going to show what it looks like. As you can see, this is on the FOV that I like to use, which is 63. I'm going to go down to 50 for another reference. is 50 FOV which is the lowest and as you can see the camera recoil of the uh, gun right there you can see it around the scope it's bouncing back but there's absolutely no eye relief coming across that gun which is really really nice I can guarantee you there's a lot of guys that are watching this video now that have died to this bug using high FOV now we're going to go to the high FOV and show what it's like um, obviously it's going to be worse in PvP situations too you're not always going to be crouching and shooting you're going to be standing up and stuff like that too but look at that, guys. Look at the difference, man. That is, like, insane, the difference. It's it, it's a whole second of just, like, not being able to see anything. Uh, but, yeah, that is pretty much the video, guys. I hope this video has been handy to you. Um, I personally think, like I said, this is something that you guys could benefit from. This is going to help you this wipe if you're still playing. And most definitely help you go into the next wipe. And it's going to make you think more about what FOV you choose. Um, and what gives you the better disadvantage or advantage based on your playstyle. But I like to use long range scopes. So this is very important to me. And I think this could be very handy to you guys too. So if you guys have liked the video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I will be doing more stuff like this. Because there's a lot of things in talk of right now that are like this. That not many people know about. Um... And I think this could be very helpful to the community. So like I said, if you've liked the video and stuff like that, you already know what to do. Uh, if you can subscribe, that would help me out a ton, guys. I'm trying to get to 50k subscribers. Hopefully we get to 100k by 2023. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. And uh, make sure to look out for that. And if you guys do want to watch some more live gameplay and come and chill with me and talk to me, 
I do stream every day on Twitch and uh, twitch.tv slash takes. But yeah, guys, that is the video. Hope you guys have a great evening and goodbye.